what are you going to do to make this a November to remember? <laughs> the most exciting part of this is going to be, can I share that right now? We're going to talk about that at the end. Okay, go ahead. We know what happens during the holidays. Our activity level declines through those winter months. So we really want to combat that. If you insert this one thing, these four workouts a week for this one month, if you just insert that and don't change anything else, you're still going to be better off than if you did nothing at all. And that's why we're putting this together. And that's why I have this really exciting part that I really want. Can I tell people yet? Hello and welcome to The Body Experience. This is a fun one because we got a, like a real life celebrity coming on the podcast today because in November, we are giving people a reason to fight the fluff, to not let the fourth quarter be just another fall where you gain weight and then you got to fight to get it off starting January 1st. No, our people, our partners, our subscribers are committed to making this the healthiest fall of their lives. And, uh, and in November, we're doing that in a very special way. So to announce that and talk about it, joining me on the body experience, none other than super trainer, Joel Freeman. Joel, are you with me? What's up, Carl? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I like that the fight, the fluff, the, the, the burn it off before you put it on. That's the, that's the idea, right? Well, it is the idea. And, and look, this is the thing. I was having a conversation with somebody the other day and they, they said, you know, and I was saying, I think this is the best opportunity for partners and for subscribers to actually take advantage of this community that we've got because everybody's motivated to do something in January. You know, everybody's yeah. like, fresh start, new me, new you, new new year, whatever. And uh, so that just happens yeah. sort of automatically. But what if you manage to not just fight the fluff, uh, you know, but instead you actually make some progress in the fourth quarter so that you don't have all of this setbacks hanging over your head uh, yeah. when it comes to January 1st. And, I, and, I, and that's when the community and particularly plugging into a meaningful program can be so powerful. So you've got some news for us. Look, I got a lot, I got lots of things. We got lots of things to talk about here. And that's, you know, I'm excited because like the most exciting part of this is going to be, you know, this thing that I've been telling you that I had totally had planned out and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, can I share that right now? Well, I know you have a little bit of a giveaway, sort of a big surprise for the group. I don't want you to, we're going to talk about that at the end. It's only going to be like a 15 okay. minute conversation, but, but look, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't think that, that I think people might not know, or maybe they do lift four is a phenomenon. Like, you know, P90X gets a lot of attention insanity, 21 day fix as sort of these, uh, uh, game changing programs, but then you got this sneaky little program that that over the course of eight weeks uh, is transforming bodies so efficiently, four days a week. But I, I think what people don't realize, do you, do you remember when we launched the program? Yeah, we launched summer of 2018. Okay, yeah. so 2000, summer 2018, what's that? That's eight years, six, five, six years ago. That's six. So it's uh, you know six and a half years ago or so. And like last month, it was the number two most streamed program on the platform. Like that's crazy. So let's go, you know, so anyway, t t let's set it up. You are, you're putting a group together. You're gonna take a group of people through the program in November. Tell us how that's gonna work. Right, so yes, we're putting a group together and to, to speak of what you're, uh, what you're talking about with Live 4, why is it still, so successful in terms of the views is because it's creating that consistency and people are sticking with it because it is a program that people have discovered how to mold into their daily life and it works into their schedule it works into uh their nutrition it works into their their home life it works into everything and that's why people are sticking with it and it is a program that works it's made for the holidays it really is because and i believe that because we know what happens during the holidays in terms of 
the weather changes, life, work, family starts showing up and you you know want to start eating more and drinking more and all these things, your stressors are going to go up. And we know that with stressing, the stressors comes eating more food, drinking more alcohol, and then that's when you start to see the fluff come up. So what we decided, and Carl and I would talk with the team, is we wanted to do something where we could fight that fluff. And as I say, burn it off before you put it on. So we're going to do a group starting November 4th, on Monday, November 4th, and it is going to be that month of November, those four weeks where we are going to use Lift 4 to keep working into our goals. So you don't have to lose weight during the holidays, but you don't have to gain any weight either. And that's exactly what Lift 4 is going to do. Taking it a step further, it's not just going to be, hey, do these Lift 4 workouts. I'm going to be doing along with you, and we're going to be doing a Facebook group. My Facebook group is going to go in on this, and we're going to be doing live workouts. So every Monday at 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific, we're going to be doing a live workout. I'm going to do it with you so we can stay consistent and stay on track. Every Wednesday, we're going to do a Q&A in the evenings. I'm going to call it Whiskey Wednesday. You don't have to drink whiskey, but I like whiskey and it rhymes. So we're doing Whiskey Wednesdays uh, where I answer questions. So you're going to get a lot of access to me. And this is something we've never done before because that accountability, as Carl said at the very beginning of this, you're talking about your, your, our team, our partners that are they're out to help people. Well, so are the trainers. And I want to make myself as available to everybody as much as possible during this month. So we're going to be doing that. And then to wrap it up, after Thanksgiving, that Friday, the next day, um, we're going to be do one more workout where we're going to burn it off and um, and to wrap it up. And then that way, when you finish the month and Thanksgiving's over, you're going to be in such a better place than you would have been otherwise. So we don't want anybody to feel that they're sliding backwards. We want to use this to keep momentum going into the new year. So you're going to say new year, same me. I'm yeah, still right. the button and I'm doing great productive, consistent, strong, energetic. All right. Now for anybody who's sort of new to the lift four story, yeah. um, and we'll, we'll circle back around to how the group is going to work. But, uh, it, it was interesting because you and I were talking about a new program and I know we got something, you know, exciting that we're talking about for the summer of 2025. And we don't want to get into that today, but, but lift four has been so resilient and remained so popular, I think because of what you showed me at the very beginning, um, when uh, you know we were sort of experimenting with what the next program might be. And I think you had this idea for combining uh, or, or creating this hybrid of a lifting schedule that also had hit training in it. So you would get sort of this burst of cardio in the program in around a half hour, 35 minutes, plus some core work, right? And, uh, and you did a little test shoot that, uh, that uh, is also extremely popular on yeah. the platform, right? Yeah, yeah that was, it's called Lift and Hit. Um, you know, all of this has made the naming of these programs really easy for us when we did that. So, I mean, it, it, it was just, it was simple. And, you know, I took my experience in the gym world and, and training people and working out myself and watching people train for all these years and how long they would take in the gym, hours, literally hours in the gym and leave and just not get anything out of it. And I'd walk in and, and get my workout done in 30 to 45 minutes. And so that was something that, you know, I really wanted to, put into a workout and taking all those barriers that we know again from from fitness world of people saying i don't have enough time to work out i don't have this it's too much equipment it's too much this and too much that so that's where lifted hit came from and we tested it and it was the first time we ever shot live to tape we did it in one take um it was and we just shot it and i think that level of simplicity that level of realness and you know we've been shooting all of my programs live to tape ever since, you know, we never cut. We're just like, Hey, if we mess up, we mess up. And all that reality and all that, it, it just brings people to it. And I think they, they can really connect with it. And then on top of all of that, they're getting a great workout. They're seeing results and it's simple. It's effective. We just did dumbbells only. We're going back to that with this group too. So it's like just dumbbells only. It's all you need. There's no, there's nothing else, just weights and your body and you're going to get a good workout. So you don't need a bench. We're not going to use the bench. We'll, we'll do, we're going to give people the option though, because obviously with lift more being out now, um, people have gotten used to having the bench uh, with a lot of the exercises that are similar. So you don't have to have a bench. 
Um, if you've never done lift more and you don't have a bench, you're not familiar, then you can use the floor as well. But if you have a bench, that's great too. You know, as we're getting older, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get off the floor than it used to. So, so back to the group then. Yeah. So you got more workouts than you got time in this month of November. Sure. So, uh, and you're shooting, is it four live workouts on the Mondays? Plus yeah, the four li yeah, four live workouts, five total. Cause we'll do the live, that live workout on the, uh, the end of the month. So how are you going to organize the rest of the program into a one month thing? Well, this is where it gets really fun for me is I can take, you know, eight weeks of four workouts. So I, you know, do the math. I got 24 workouts to, uh, sorry, 32, 32, uh, <laughs> my fingers somehow. So I've got 32 workouts to put into, uh, this calendar and I'm going to be able to give people options to where if you want to just work out four days a week and that's all you have time for, then this is what you're going to do. So the workouts are going to change. They're not going to go in consecutive order. Like the calendar does in the actual program. I'm going to be choosing workouts specific to, okay, we've got a month. How can we get the most out of that month in your workouts? If, uh, because some people are, are you know, if they're getting, they've gotten you know, used to lift more style workouts. So they're five, five days a week, or if people want to work out more, I'll give them that option. Well, so I'm going to give optional workouts on uh, that fifth day. And then even the sixth day, if they feel like they want to get more. So we're going to give people two options on this. And so that way, uh, again, it's all about giving people options and say, okay, you can do this, you can do this, but you got to do one or the other. And so as you're, as people look ahead to this though, just to, for their own benefit, you know, I, I, the way I approach these things is I really don't want to have to think. Yeah. So somebody who's like, well, look, it's November, things are happening. Uh, four days a week is appealing. Yeah. What can they expect? F first off, again, for people who don't necessarily know how Lift Force constructed, what is a workout like and what does a week look like? The Lift Four workouts are what I want. We went back to basics. Um, and what I wanted to do with that program was to make it non scary as possible. And, um, especially when it comes to weightlifting, because weightlifting for people who have not, you know, for beginners who have not lifted weights, or if they've watched people lift heavy dumbbells in the gym, it can be very intimidating. So we went to basics with lift for basic dumbbell movements, chest press, you know, things that you probably heard before, but in, in, in those work, but it's in the design itself. So you're going to be lifting using dumbbells only. You're going to be doing a uh, hit, which is high intensity interval training. But again, basic moves, there's always modifications for every single move. So it doesn't matter your fitness level. And that's the joy. And I think again, why so many people use lift for either as a starting point, or they just keep doing it is because with weights and hit training, you go at your own level. When it comes to the weights, you lift however much your body allows you to. You don't have to keep up with anybody else. And the same thing with the, the hip movements. There's modifications if you need it, but there's also ways to get more out of it. So you can modify, you can intensify. So it's up to you how hard you want to work, but you'll find that you're going to get fitter faster when you do it this way in terms of just how your body is going to change. And that's why we did it this way. And that's why we tested it so extensively and saw them and continue to see amazing results from people because this level, this is the optimal way to get in, get your work done and still see amazing results. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. There, there are statistics that I've seen online where, uh, the range is like some people will gain five to seven pounds in the fall. Uh, some people will gain literally 15 to 20 pounds. Yeah. And, and so you've got dynamics that are easy to predict, right? First off, you're wearing more clothes because it's getting seasonally, you're, it's getting colder. So you can hide under those clothes. Yeah, um, sure. You've got football season and there's gatherings and uh, beer and just, just, more festivities with the holidays. So there's like all these excuses that are easy to let them sort of spill out to the entirety of these three months. And that all adds up. And look, yep. I am going to be right there with everybody watching football on every single day it's on, but it, it's, it's the activity level. Our activity level declines through those winter months because of everything that you just said, Carl. And then just the fact of like, what we're doing and we don't want to go like you see a sunny day outside you're like oh i should go outside like right now it's raining 
I don't want to go outside. I want to take a nap or I want to sit on the couch and watch a movie and, and eat something. So we really want to combat that with this. And even if, you know, the best way to think about this is even if you keep doing everything that we're talking about right now, what you just mentioned, like football season, all these, different, even if you do all that still, if you insert this one thing, this these four workouts a week for this one month, if you just insert that and don't change anything else, you're still going to be better off than if you did nothing at all. And that's what we want people to do. And that's what the whole point of this group is. And that's why we're putting this together. And that's why I have this really exciting part that I really want. Can I tell people yet? No, not yet. O almost. Okay. You know, let me make this point and then I'm going to let you okay. tell them okay, fine. why this group is the place to be in November. Yeah. Um, but, you know, one thing that we talk about, we, we talk about don't want to gain the weight or and or you want to lose the weight. I want to maybe put that aside for a second and just say it doesn't get easier if you just blow it off to feel good in your own body, to feel strong and be agile and be mobile. This, this idea that, you know what, I'm going to take the fourth quarter off and I'll worry about weight loss next first quarter. Like the, the body eventually doesn't snap back so easily and you just don't want to let it Oh, wait, you don't want to let it go. So, you know, use it or lose it. If you want to have energy, if you don't want to be moody during the holidays, you want to enjoy the holidays and feel good about yourself. And even frankly, Thanksgiving, uh, um, Christmas, New Year's, whatever holiday, in order to enjoy those guilt free without being like, here it comes, you do the work in the non-holiday days and your life is that much better the rest of the time and you can enjoy the holidays that much more. I think this, this all or nothing mentality really undermines people's ability to sustain the body that feels the best to them. Okay, so what are you gonna do to make this a November to remember? <laughs> November to remember, look, all we're, I mean, we just keep talking about this. We just want people to be a part of this. We just want as many people to come into this Facebook group. And this is, you know, in a way we're kind of going old school with the Facebook group, which I'm excited about because it's the easiest way to do it. It's just to get as many people into a group as possible. That's creating the accountability. Uh, you're getting direct access to me with the live workouts, with the Q and A's. I'll be in there every day answering questions as well. But, you know, that's going to be the biggest thing. But I was like, we got to do something and as a, uh, you know, as what you want to call it, a hook, a reward, something that's going to get people amped up. So uh, I figured out that what we're going to do is if whoever's in this group and you participate and you do whatever calendar, the four days or the five days, the six days, whatever we come out with as we're finishing those up, we're going to choose a random winner, totally random. And then the team at body will validate this, that you, you streamed your workouts. And if you did and you get chosen, I'm going to fly you out to Texas and you're going to hang with me for the day. And we're going to do a live, we're going to do a workout in my gym. We're going to go over your workout plans. We're going to go over your nutrition plans. You're going to get a full day of one-on-one -on -one personal training from me. And then if you like Texas barbecue, I'll take you to Texas barbecue. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love Texas barbecue, so I'm definitely down for that, but I figured it'd be fun. So we're going to fly We're going to do a, a, a random winner. That's going to get to bring a friend as well. So you and a friend, it's like the old school, uh, game shows, like you and a friend are going to fly to sunny Dallas, Texas. That sounds awesome. Uh, I might have to throw myself in the ring for this. This sounds, uh, Body, I think body employees are excluded. Sorry, oh, uh, the CEOs are included, so that's okay. All but right, the, <laughs> on that one. But yeah, I just, I was thinking, I, I just came, I actually, I just came up with it this morning because I was like, we got to do something, and I think this is that'd be a fun reward, uh, you know, for everybody's hard work and and you know, just to just keep moving forward, and that's the biggest thing, as you said, we don't want, we don't have to slide backwards during the year, and, and now I am forty two very soon, and. It, it is a little bit harder every single year to have to, you have to work just a little bit harder every single year. You know, five years ago, if you had said that to me, Carl, I'd be like, oh, sure, whatever. You're just saying that. And now I go, golly, it's getting true. Hey, well, you know, there's statistics now uh, that at age 44 and age 60, there's a bit of an aging acceleration that happens. Yeah. Totally. Uh, and at 60 years old, I can honestly tell you, uh, 
I can feel it, but I also refuse to accept it. Yeah. And because of that refusal, I am like in the best shape of my life with the faster bounce back from if I take a weekend off or take a week off, like because I didn't let it go for a month or two months, I'm agile. Like, you know, I was watching this guy, you know, you, you watch people online, Instagram and stuff. And I was watching this 85 year old guy work out. And uh, it was kind of impressive, but he clearly works out in one specific way. Like he just lifts. And, uh, and so he had no agility and no mobility. Right. And I refuse for that. Like I want to be able to play a pickup basketball game or kickball with the kids or whatever. Like I want to be able to run around and do stuff. And that's only going to happen by maintaining mobility, which is why I love the fact that you incorporate the hit training and the bears and all this stuff into the program. So it's not just about vanity and the, the physical outcome. You're going to get ripped. You're going to look great. You're going to be strong, but you're also heart, lungs, agility, mobility are all also going to be served in this half hour, 45 minutes. I mean, that's it. And that's, you know, we've heard the term used for how, for how many decades of functional training, but this is, you know, this is workout. As I say, it's workout for what it's workout for your life. The, you have so many hours in the day and people fixate on these, these 30 minutes to 60 minutes of your workout, but everything else, that's the, that should be the emphasis. That should be the focus. And that's what I, I mean, where my workouts come in, my workouts are lift four or lift more style workouts. That's what I do on a daily basis. I don't do any extra cardio or anything like that because I've got everything else to do. And as again, as I'm getting older, I'm feeling it where you wake up in the morning, you're like, okay, it might be a little bit more sore than I used to be. But then on Saturday, I was able to jump on the dirt bike with my kid. And that is, as he's getting older, he's going to go faster. So chasing three kids around, doing all these different things, they're, they're taking a lot of energy and I still have it to give. And I don't plan on leaving it. Like I am going faster than they are right now. That's I awesome. want to stay that way where they have to try to keep up with me. Yeah. Well, uh, I think it's going to be great. Um, and uh, and people can get a lot out of this program. It's going to be a great group. It's cool that you're flying somebody out uh, who participates in the group to then get a live workout and a sort of a day of assessment from you. That yeah. sounds like, uh, like an awesome day. I, I want to add... For people, I'm going to give you a little hack, okay? Not you, you don't need it, but but my Carl's hack, okay? A couple of years ago, or maybe yeah, a little over a year ago, I was still eating like a normal breakfast, and I'm reading about intermittent fasting and everything, and I was like, you know what? I'm like cramming to make breakfast in the morning, and then uh, an hour, hour and a half later, I'm having my Shakeology, and so I was like, instead of that, instead of my normal routine. I started to like pack my Shakeology, like put some spinach in there, a banana, some coconut oil, um, the, the greens boost, the fiber boost. And, uh, and that's now my breakfast. And ever since I did that, cause I pack it with so much stuff, like the weight just literally fell off and I'm not fighting with food so much. Cause now I've got the additional room in calories in a more of an intermittent fasting kind of way in lunch and dinner. So I think people who want to navigate and, and navigate the fall and get the best results from this program, I highly recommend that you change your morning routine to include a Shakeology, uh, which is going to help you settle down all your calorie choices and also improve your nutrition first thing in the morning. Okay. That's my little pitch. That, Joel, look, there's, a, there's a commercial We'll say, but you know, you're not you when you're hungry and you make, so, and there's, you know, it's true. Like you make bad food choices when you're hungry. Yeah. Like I, I'm the same way. If I'm hungry, I'm going to look in the fridge. I'm like, oh, look, the kid's mac and cheese is sitting right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Yeah. So if you do things like that, you're going to make so much better choices. You're right. Yeah. All right. Well, look, going to be a great group. It starts on uh, November 4th. 4th, Monday, November 4th. Now, people, you got the option of uh, obviously Lift Four is in the member library. You can do it there, um, but you can also now, if you're not a subscriber to Body, you can just buy the program for fifty nine ninety five, and you will have what we call 
forever access to it, almost as if you bought the DVDs. It'll be available to you right inside the app, even if you let your subscription lapse. So you basically have permanent access to the full Lyft 4 program if you just buy it. Um, but at the end of the day, you're going to get a great outcome if you follow along with Joel and his group coming in November. So I hope you take advantage of it. Be a part of something. Leverage the accountability of the body experience and the body community and our partners who absolutely want to help you get the best results with these programs and make it a, you know, we had a feel good summer. Call this a feel good fall and we're going into a feel good winter. Um, Joel, thanks so much for being on the body experience and I hope it's going to be a great group and uh, everybody gets the kind of results they expect from Lift 4. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. And of course, everybody's got something you're going to learn about a little program coming. I don't know how he's going to top Lift 4 because it's uh, so resilient. It's so popular, but um, it's going to be pretty cool. So you'll find out more about that later in 2025. For now, I'm Carl Deichler. Thanks for joining us on The Body Experience. Mm -hmm.